Clementine. Hi guys, this is Superboo3, and today we're continuing our playthrough of The Walking Dead Season 2. This is Episode 5, Chapter 8. Uh, Lee? This is weird because this is Just like Season 1. Theme, sweet pea. Oh my god, Clementine's psychic. What was it about? Doug? He's bit. We don't know how this works yet. Maybe it's like a cold. His mom's a doctor. Maybe she can help him. When I was a kid, I never got sick. But my brother always had something. He's going to die. I know it. You don't know that? Yeah, because I know I'm from the future. This is a different Clementine you're speaking to now. I feel bad. A bit too, Kenny. Why? I called him a crybaby when I hid the bug in his pillow. Oh, that's okay, honey. He didn't mean it. The level of rage how I'm feeling towards Bonnie right now is ridiculous. Hmm? hmm? Why did Lily do that to Carly? Oh, this is where my thing's just going to come up with a random choice that I was assigned from the first game. That can make people angry sometimes. Have you ever been that angry? Yeah, because you killed him. Clem, people don't always make sense. How come? Because bad things happen to everyone. The group in the second game just so crap. They do. I'm just thinking about comparing it to the first game, and though some parts I did really enjoy, there's been some really dumb bits which have really kind of annoyed me. I don't know. <sighs> I don't either. I don't know if we did the right thing. How can you tell? Well, it's not like math, Clem. Sometimes there just isn't the right answer. I hate math. <laughs> Me too, sweet pea. Uh, but part of growing up is doing what's best for the people you care about. Even if sometimes that means hurting someone else. I don't want to hurt anyone. It's not that easy. I'm scared, Lee. What can I tell you to make it better? That you won't leave me. Oh, I wouldn't do that. I promise. Liar. Outright liar there. You get Everything stupid and right. screwed me over. <laughs> They're not there. Well, let's try to get some sleep. Okay, Lee. I'm still so irritated with Bonnie. I don't even know what they were thinking with all on that crap. That's one of the dumbest things I've seen in the whole game. Slow down! Shut up! She's awake! Hey, you. Clam! Oh, thank God! You passed out from the shock. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. 
Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll oh, burn that's a while, good. but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Yeah, well, who would steal our food and shoot a kid? He never should have thrown in with trash like that in the first place. I should have done something. They took we shouldn't have let come with us in the first place. Puppy, thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to house. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. The walkers should be gone by now. Wellington's out there. We have to keep Sorry, him, Jane. Jane, I don't Clem, like you. You can't be falling for this. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Get your feet off the dash. Let's play a game, Clem. I spy, with my little eye, an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You wanna die out here? Better than waiting to die next to you. You're both being children. Me? I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jane. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you. And you don't care about nobody. That's me, Kenny. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? Oh, it's he's your family, kind of right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Shut up, both of you. Stay out of this, Clam. Don't tell her what to do. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, I love that woman! Who could love you? Look at you. You can't raise this kid. It's scared to death of you. I got this way, saving your ass from that hellhole. And I would have left you to rot if I'd known what you were. Jane, Kenny loved Sarita. Of course he did. He loves having anyone around that does what he says. Why? That's why he loves this kid so much. It can't talk back yet. Fuck you. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita? Fucking liar, that ain't true! Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're gonna end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family! Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! Go to hell, you son of a bitch! Jesus! Oh, at least you didn't crash the car. You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. It, I think that really was telling of Kenny right there, because he Kenny, did check I'm that James was okay. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Alright? If you're going, go now. Kenny! That fucking asshole. God! I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. I tried, but I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. I'm going to take that as a compliment, so screw you, Jane. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life?
It's snowing. This place. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck! Get us out of here! I don't know how to drive! See that pedal on the floor? Step on it! Don't just sit there! I wonder if we just flipped the car. The door's stuck! <laughs> Shit! Shit! There are more of them! Move! Clem! Clem, hurry! Get out! Hurry! Chain! Well, I Jane, guess that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> Until we get out of here. God, this is a disaster. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to be very close to the end of the game next time, so until then, bye.